Hi, my name's Sue from Cottontail Crafts in Settle. This is the first in a series of short videos teaching you a variety of stitches using binker. Mums and grandmas, maybe even dads and granddads will remember doing this when they were younger. I hope you enjoy doing it too. To start with, I'm going to get a length of the yarn, approximately half a metre long. And this is how you thread the needle. So fold cotton. I said yarn before, but I meant cotton. Fold it over the needle, pinch it with your fingers and thread it through. For those of you that are too little to do this, you can always get mum or dad to do it or even grandma or granddad. So we're roughly going to start about two holes in from the end and two or three down from the top it really doesn't matter as long as you don't start at the very edge which stitch is it you're showing sue first? this is just going to be a running stitch that i'm doing to begin with and what, because this is the easiest stitch and what does that look like the running stitch looks like the red one on there all oh, right okay so this is a nice easy to stitch to start off with so we don't knot the um cotton at all what we're going to do is we're going to just hold it with our finger at the back so that it doesn't come through to the other end. How much do you leave on the other side? About um, a good centimetre. Right. So all we're going to do is we've brought the needle up through the hole. We're going to then take it down through the next hole and bring it back up through to the next hole. But whilst doing this, turn it over onto the wrong side. You can see the loop catch that spare bit of cotton there and that will stop your thread from coming undone and we're going to go all the way down until we're almost at the very end of it again when we've come to the end we need to leave approximately two holes like we have done there you can use whatever color you like you can do as many rows as you like. You can alternate the rows so that the next row, it could be where instead of coming up in those same holes there, you're doing the alternate ones there. And as we go along doing these short videos, I will show you an add-on to this running stitch. There we go. What are the other types of stitch you'll be showing us then, Sue? So the other types of stitches we're going to be doing is a straight stitch like that, but going vertically. I'm going to show you how to do a half cross stitch. So that is a half cross stitch going one way. That's the same half cross stitch, but coming back in a different direction. Then I will also show you how to do a full cross stitch. And I will show you a variation of how to do this running stitch. We will probably end by um, you getting you to write your name in pencil onto the binker. And then we will do a back stitch and fill your name in using the back stitch. Where can I get the um, material from? You can buy the kits from, from us at Cottontail Crafts. Um, if you let me know whether you want a kit, we can then arrange for the delivery of it. Uh, the shop is closed now um, and I won't be reopening until um, this virus has eased. But don't worry, I can get the kits to you either by post or arrange delivery of them. So should we just private message? Yes, please. Yes, and I will get back to you. And will they be on the website as well? Yes, we are going to put these on the website. The kits are... Um, you get the needle, plastic needle, so that if you've got any young siblings, you don't have to worry about the needle being metal. This is a plastic needle, um, a piece of binker this size, and you will get five two meter lengths of the cotton. Right, I'm coming to the end now. So as you can see, I have left two spaces there. So to fasten off, turn it over onto the wrong side and just put the needle through the last two or three stitches that you've done to stop it from coming undone. There we go. Now, if you have, any of you have any questions or queries about this, 
then please do just get in touch with me, message me um, and I will get back with an answer for you. I hope you've enjoyed this first video. Thank you.